good fucking god. You, you know, the last, let's see, one, two, okay. Out of the last four times I have been at this motherfucking railroad crossing, three out of four times, three out of four motherfucking times, that motherfucker, that motherfucker had to have been five miles long. I mean, I made this turn onto this road way back when. Jesus fucking Christ, this planet is so fucked. I don't know if you guys can see this goddamn thing. I don't know what the fuck that thing is through there. I mean, you can't see much here. No, it, uh, I, I, I think the fucking thing is a cement plant. But who the fuck knows what that goddamn thing is? The goddamn five mile long fucking freight trains, whatever the fuck that scary ass thing is. And then up here, I have no clue what this motherfucking thing is. I think what this thing up here is, is one of these goddamn storage unit things from hell. Oh, fuck. These storage units, these fucking freight trains, cement plants. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, here it is. Uh, look at these goddamn blinding fucking lights. You're driving down the fucking road and, and you got this shit in your goddamn face. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, it's a goddamn storage unit. You know, to give all the burglars plenty of light to steal all your shit. You know, we're so fucked. I, I, I got this comment uh, last week. So where do you, do you get all of your information off the internet? You, you know, like, uh, like, like implying that I don't do any of my original research, that you know everything on the internet is bullshit. You can't uh, believe one word. So all of this shit, uh, it was in response to my Manga Bay Roundup. <coughs> do you get all of your information off the internet, I said, no, you dumb fucking clueless moron. <coughs> I said, I look out my fucking window. Look out my fucking window to get my motherfucking information. I don't need the fucking internet to know how fucked we are. And then look at this goddamn thing coming up here on the right. What in the fuck is this thing? <sighs> Jesus. I think that's actually a uh, some sort of roadside honky tonk. So I guess I'm o I guess I'm okay with the roadside honky tonk. Uh, you, you know, as long as we're fucked, we might as well uh, do Texas two-step our fucking way out of here. You know, I was just listening to this, uh, you know, that John Lennon song about getting off the hamster wheel and all of this shit, probably right before he got goddamn murdered. And uh, talking about there's, there's no problems, there's only solutions. Only solutions. And then he takes a fucking bullet through his head. Uh, right after he uh, m made that song, it's fucking solutions. This motherfucking troll, uh, and this motherfucking troll, what's his name? David. This fucking dude, he calls himself David. He, he's got three subscribers uh, on his YouTube channel. Th this fucking uh, loser. And, uh, you know. It, it wasn't just the comments that that he left. It was on my, you know, Elliot Jacobson and I did this interview. Uh, th this, you know, we 
well, it wasn't really an interview. It was just kind of a conversation between two doomers catching up with each other. You can find that over at Collapse Chronicles. So he leaves, you know, this fucking snotty-ass comment there. He leaves some snotty comment on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. He's one of these motherfucking, uh, you know, these goddamn clueless fucking moron trolls that followed me over from Soft White Underbelly. So... Open up my goddamn, I mean, my email, not not all my channels, but my my email, and I uh, have this long fucking uh, email from this fucking clueless moron, uh, you know, reading me and, and Elliot, the, uh, you know, the riot act, uh, that all we do is sit and whine, uh, the, the stupid motherfucker, he, he doesn't understand the difference between ranting and whining. Uh, Humpty, I whine on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I rant on uh, Collapse Chronicles. So he doesn't even understand the difference between a rant and a whine. So he goes, all you and your loser buddy do is is you you just whine and you don't do a damn thing uh, you don't offer any solutions you're, you're you're not doing anything to uh you know to to solve the problem uh you, you just like to sit around and and whine uh, about how everything is going to hell on this planet and, and you don't offer one fucking solution. You know, I'm thinking you dumb fucking clueless moron. What the fuck? So, so what were we whining about? Okay, we were, we, we were whining about how plastic has actually entered the geological record that the, these fucking abandoned fishing nets 700 miles off the coast of Brazil, you know, abandoned by these goddamn Chinese trawlers, are actually mixing with beach sand and, and, and actually becoming a new kind of rock. It's plasta something. Anyway, so uh, I, I guess I'm supposed to solve that. Well, you dumb motherfucker, this clueless motherfucker, this is why I don't eat seafood, okay? Uh, I am offering a solution to abandoned fishing nets uh, turning into rocks uh, 700 miles off the coast of Brazil. I don't eat fucking seafood. Not one thing has passed my fucking mouth uh, in, in going on 20 years that came out of a Chinese fishing net, you clueless motherfucker. So yeah, uh, that, that, that's my solution. Why don't we stop eating fucking seafood, clueless fucking morons? Okay, let's see, we're talking about, uh, so I'm not offering... Elliot and I are just whining. We're, we're not offering solutions uh, to, uh, so if, uh, I guess that if I refuse to eat seafood, uh, I am going to solve the problem. If Elliot and I would just both stop eating, I don't know if Elliot eats seafood or not, uh, maybe he wants to be part of the geological record. Uh, so if Elliot Jacobson and I stop eating seafood, the, the plastic uh, problem in the oceans will be fixed, it will be solved, and humans will not be part of the geologic record. So what, what else were we talking about how the amount of plastic in this ocean is going to fucking triple, is going to triple by the year 2040. You know, it used to be 2050, now, now it's 2050. So I guess this clueless fucking moron troll David, he's, he's, he's this awful fucking uh, guitar player is what he is. He, anyway... Uh, so while he's sitting there learning how to play guitar in his, in his closet, uh, I guess, 
uh, that Elliot Jacobson and I are the reason that uh, there's going to be three times as much plastic in the uh, in, in the oceans by 2040 as there is now. That uh, Elliot Jacobson and I, the calls were whining about it instead of offering solutions. I guess that those 100 trillion pieces of space junk, 100 trillion pieces of space junk floating around, uh, floating around in the goddamn, uh, in, 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 you know, all over, the, literally surrounding this planet in, in, in this blanket of, sp of space uh, junk. Uh, yeah, let's see. So, uh, Elliot Jacobson and Sam Mitchell are whining about 100 trillion pieces of space junk. It is Elliot Richardson and Sam Mitchell's fault. Uh, at these, these couple of boomer doomer whiners. It, it is our fucking fault. Look, look at this fucking red light. Okay, how long it stays, th this entire fucking highway, uh, good fucking God, the amount of CO2 that goes up in the air because of that fucking red light, what else, I guess it's the, uh, I, 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 I guess the atmospheric rivers in uh, the atmospheric rivers in California, I'm going to blame those on Elliot. Uh, okay, Elliot Jacobson, you are the one who is not offering any solutions to those atmospheric rivers pounding uh, California. It is up to Elliot Jacobson and Sam Mitchell. What is the IPCC, you know, talking about that our livable future is pretty much shot, that this planet is hotter than it's been in 125,000 years? And, uh, but uh, those all bo gloomy, gloomer, boomer doomers sitting there and whining uh, about the state of the planet in March of 2023, and we are doing nothing to solve it. Oh, fuck. We are, we are completely fucked. Anyway. I want to go turn the fucking music back up. I've been uh, <laughs> giving myself some back support after that goddamn trip to the south by south. The I'm calling it the Sex by Southwest Music Festival. Heading back up again tomorrow to uh, boil myself in a sexual tension soup while the world burns and uh, I offer no solutions I guess uh, you know god damn it uh, John Lennon you went and got fucking killed before you offered us any solutions he sees no problems John Lennon saw no problems uh, no problems only solutions when was that song? Maybe 1977. I think that's when he came on. Uh, where was it? The Dick Cavett Show. John Lennon on there talking about how overpopulation is a myth. Yep, 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 yep. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine no possessions. It's not that hard to do. John Lennon sounding like Klaus Schwab. Speaking of Klaus Schwab, would someone please, uh, Tyler, could you do this? Uh, could you please find where Klaus Schwab made the famous quote, you shall own nothing and you shall be happy? Uh, I really want to get the source of that. I want to get the uh, I want to get the context of the famous Klaus Schwab quote that has set off all of these goddamn uh, right-wing conspiratard 
global uh, depopulation agenda bullshit conspiracy theories I want to get the fuller context of you shall own nothing and you shall be happy there you go get out there and own nothing and be happy well you still can I need a fucking drink and I will be happy I will own a margarita in my hand in about 15 minutes and I will be happy bye guys <laughs>